Chatterbait. 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 Wait. Fish head spin. What's up, YouTube family? Noah from Kicking Their Bass TV here with the first episode of Tackle Tuesdays. I told you guys I was going to do this where I pick one bait, um, or if I was going over reels, if I was going over rods. And this week's episode, Chatterbaits. When you open up the box, guys, got a box full of all kinds of chatterbaits, all kinds of brands. I'm gonna have my brand. I have this Buckeye one right here. We have the Z Man, the original Z Man chatterbait. We have the Pro chatterbaits. We have some of the Z Man Frog chatterbaits. We have all kinds of chatterbaits. And if you guys don't know, this is actually um, one of my favorite baits, um, just in general, the fish all time. So right here, we got a we got a Z Man one. Um, this one is just regular green pumpkin, and this one's a really great one. Um, I make one that's really similar, that's really good as well. But this one is the black blade. The one that I make has a silver blade, which I like um, personally. Um, here's the Buckeye one. Honestly, I haven't really thrown this one too much. Really? As I was saying before my dad interrupted me about calling my mom. <laughs> Got this Buckeye chatterbait. Um, haven't fished it much, and this thing's actually pretty cool. I haven't really... I'm pulled around with it. I mean, it has the has a little wire. In it. The hook's bendable with it. Pretty neat. Um, I don't know how that would work. I don't know if you could get enough power. To be honest, the hooks at the fish. Um, so I got the Z-Man, got the Buckeye. Here's the Z-Man Pro Chatterbait. Um, really neat looking Chatterbait as well. Really crazy. I have a couple colors in this one. Right there. A big old swim bait on it. Honestly, I just like the regular ones, the regular small ones. I've been fishing mine lately. I've um, been doing pretty good on it. Right here, you got tons of skirts, got tons of interchangeable skirts so you can throw on it. Um, got some watermelon ones, got some green pumpkin, got some watermelon candy, you got all different kinds of colors to throw on there. I personally like white. White and chartreuse is my favorite. Here's another one of those. Different colored Z-Man ones with the weed guard. Honestly, I just cut it off. Another one right there. Here's a couple of mine. Um, these aren't the new ones that I made. The new ones, which I'll throw um, a picture on the screen right now. The new ones have a different style head. But um, this one, the new, the newer ones have eyes and they're um, really neat looking. This is just my first one that we came out with. Um, the other ones are mostly at the house because I was selling a lot of them, so I had to ship some out. These are the other normal ones. That's the ones I've been using right now, killing them all. Some more of the Z-Mans. And yeah, guys, um, these are all my chatter baits. I got some custom ones right here. Honestly, I cannot remember who makes these. Um, someone who made us some jigs one time a while back. Made us some chatter baits as well. Um, pretty neat looking color. I um, caught some on that as well. It's a little similar to mine, but my head's um, more fancy with the eyes and everything. So, yeah, guys, that's all my chatter baits. Also, actually, one more right here. This one's pretty cool. This is a Z Man one. It's like a frog. It's pretty neat. And you put this, that little trailer that has the paddle tails on it. So, yeah, guys, that's all my chatter baits. Um, all different kinds of chatter baits. Um, like I said, my favorite bait to fish. And leave a comment below if you want me to go out there and show you my techniques for a chatter bait, what I do to catch fish on a chatter bait. Because I've been throwing a chatter bait for a while. I have a lot of videos. If you go watch some of my videos, um, a lot of them I'm using the chatter bait. I don't know if you can tell because most of mine I play music too. But if you're wanting a how to video, um, not just simple trips, tips and tricks, but um, the tips and tricks that I use that are really productive in how I catch fish on a chatter bait pretty much year round. I mean, it doesn't have to be fish shallow. You can fish it out deep. There's little tricks that you can do. Um, I can show you the rod and reel combo, anything you guys want. Just leave a comment below. And also, taking recommendations for next week's Tackle Tuesday. What do you guys want to see? Leave a comment below for that, and I'll get that video out to you. So thank you guys for watching. This is the first Tackle Tuesday. The series is going to go on for a while. It's going to be posted every single Tuesday. Um, and it's going to go on for a while. Like I said, I'm going to go over reels. I'm going to go over rods. I'm going to go over chatterbaits. I'm going to go over 
lizards. I want to go over crawls. I want to go, I mean, just endless stuff. So it's going to take a while. Um, also, some of you guys have been wanting a boat tour. I'm probably going to come out with a video of that, of my ranger boat. And also, how to get sponsors. I'm really wanting to get a lot of information for that video. I'm wanting to get the most tips that I can give you. I'm really brainstorming, and I'm going to write a lot of ideas down and tips to give you on how to get sponsors the right way, the correct way, um, to engage them, to come to you, just everything to get your name out there in general. So I'll have a video on that coming out soon. I'm still thinking of ideas and writing everything down. So I hope you guys enjoyed this first Tackle Tuesdays. Like I said, leave a comment below on next week's Tackle Tuesday, what bait, um, if you want over rods, if you want over reels, um, what bait you want it to be, what soft plastic, leave a comment below. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you check out some of my latest videos. I'll leave the links at the end of this video. See you guys next time.